When assigning a primary key to your table, there are two types of keys you should be aware of. A natural key uses the data in the record as the primary key. For example, if you were building a table of users, it would be natural to include an email address. This email address could be the primary key. It would be considered a natural key because it's already part of the data. But what if a user wants to change their email? Is it still considered a good identifier for the record? So if the email address wasn't suitable as a primary key, then we might choose to generate a unique ID for the user instead. This is what is known as a surrogate key. A surrogate key is generated by the database and is not naturally part of the data in the record. If you decide to use one, make sure that it will be useful for queries. Generally, surrogate keys are used when there is no appropriate natural key. Regardless of your choice, it is important to understand how CockroachDB uses the primary key to distribute your data. CockroachDB stores your data by sorting it according to the primary key. It then takes the values of the primary key and partitions them into ranges. These ranges are distributed across a cluster of CockroachDB nodes. This means the data from your table won't necessarily live on a single machine. The advantage is that it allows the database to scale. However, this also has an impact on your choice of primary keys. A good primary key will distribute well in a clustered environment and avoid hotspots. The primary key should discourage multiple records from being accessed on the same server at the same time, unless those records are closely related. Therefore, good primary keys tend to create more random access patterns on the servers. Ideally, every time you access a different primary key, there's a high probability that you will reach a different cluster node. This helps to distribute the load and prevents hotspots. Weak primary keys tend to result in hotspots in the database. Many SQL databases use an auto-incrementing integer as a surrogate key. For a single node database, this is perfectly acceptable. However, for a distributed database such as CockroachDB, it causes hotspots. When you partition your numerical sequence into ranges, the newest inserts all end up in the same range. This creates a significant hotspot in your system and can impact your scalability and performance. Dates such as a created date, can result in similar issues. Meanwhile, geographical data such as country codes, cities, etc. can create hotspots if those regions experience more traffic, especially at certain times of day. The recommended approach for creating a surrogate key in CockroachDB is to use a universally unique identifier, or UUID. UUIDs are highly randomized, and they distribute well in a CockroachDB cluster. This will prevent the hotspots during inserts. Natural keys are often preferred, but can be trickier to use. They often suffer from a variety of unnatural groupings or hotspots. You can try to remedy some of these issues using a compound key. If the first column in your compound key has a good distribution pattern, it will help minimize hotspots. If you don't have a natural key with a suitable distribution, CockroachDB also offers hash sharded indexes. They convert the key to a hash, which is then used to distribute across the cluster. Hash values have a high degree of randomization and can help prevent hotspots. For more information on choosing a primary key, check out the CockroachDB documentation.